so I remember seeing an article saying that Margot Robbie is um, going to step back from acting to do some producing, and it seems that the first thing she wants to produce is a Sims movie. A Sims movie. Okay, listen. 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 The Sims is very complicated, you know. Everyone loves The Sims 2 and 3, but The Sims 4 has been having some problems. And, um, while The Sims games do have lore, it's kind of hard to keep up with the lore. Um, specifically in Sims 4 when they just completely wiped it away and made it into an alternate universe and stuff. But The Sims 2 and 3 do have some definitive lore. So following the success of Barbie, Margot Robbie, Tom Ackerley, Josie McNamara, and Sophie Kerr's Lucky Chet production company is now teaming up with Roy Lee and Marie Yoon of Vertigo Entertainment to release a film adaptation of the beloved game according to Variety and The Hollywood Reporter. Lucky director Kate Heron is on board to work on the project and will also co-write the screenplay alongside Byrony Redman per the outlets. This isn't the only video game project Heron is working on, with her also set to direct an episode of the upcoming second season of The Last of Us. The Sims movie is still in its early days of development, per the outlets, and it's not yet known which studio will land the release. Cast members are also yet to be announced. Reps for Robert, Robbie, and Ackerley did not immediately respond to people when contacted for a comment. The Sims, as we all know, is a series of life simulation games developed by, developed by Maxis and published by Electronic Arts, aka EA. The franchise is one of the best-selling game series of all time, shipped to nearly 20 million cop- 20 hundred million copies, I don't know why I said 20 million, I meant 20 million copies, Two, no, 200 million copies- 200 million copies worldwide since its first release in the 2000s. The video games are also part of a larger Sim series started by SimCity in 1989. Over the years, the Sims games have gotten bigger, not featuring settings including vacation and high school releases. This article seems a bit weird because now we have rent. We can rent now. Um, the high school thing came out like a year ago and vacations came out years ago. Lucky Chap also produced the movie Saltburn. Oh, no. The Sims news, news comes hot off the heels of Barbie's multiple wins and nominations throughout the 2024 awards season. The comedy, based on the beloved Mattel doll, made over $1.4 billion at the global box office. So, there's that. And, um, I think it's it for, uh, The Sims. Yeah, that's, that's everything. Am I excited about this movie? Hmm. Am I excited about this movie? Oh, a new duck song. Oh my god. No, 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 we'll talk about that later. Um, I guess... I play The Sims 4, I play The Sims 3. I don't know what you want me to say, because, like, this is The Sims, and I, the only lore I know is the land grabs and the goths, and even the Agnes Crumblebottom, because she's related to the goths, and... Uh... There's so much care. There's so much families in this game, and there's so much lore in this game, and you could do a whole bunch with it. But you need to be very careful when it comes to doing that because, like, I once saw this whole like movie about Bella Goth disappearing, and it was like the best thing I've ever seen. the The person who made it did a really good job with the animations of like The Sims Four and The Sims Two and The Sims Three, and he he did a really good job. Um, so maybe something like that. Maybe it'll be animated. Maybe this movie will be animated. I don't think it would be a okay idea for it to be live action. Barbie, yes. Barbie had a different advantage point. That was different. Um, but you can't really pull a Barbie twice, can you now? So, yeah.